Well, Glenn, three victories out of four since you took charge of first team matters. What praise have you got for the boys and the effort they've put in in a really difficult situation? Yeah, no, obviously not not high enough, really. I mean, you know, they, they've been absolutely magnificent. Um, the attitude, I mean, training today has been good. Every around the place on the training pitch, you know, everything's been everything's fantastic. And you know, we asked them to continue, but I think they've gone up a level. And uh, and you know, I, I, they, they, you know, I can't express the words. I mean, the fans have seen it as well. So uh, we're in a good place and looking forward to Saturday. In terms of uh, goal scoring, that's the first time we've scored four goals since Rochdale in February. Yeah. Um, what's changed, perhaps, with the players? Is it a mentality thing, attacking wise, perhaps? Uh, we've uh, well, maybe, maybe we've, we've probably gone a little bit more attacking. I think putting Mitch in, he, he adds a little bit of uh, spark to the attack, and obviously he's got his, his two goals as well and contributed the weekend. Yeah. Uh, and we're just the way we're playing. We're just probably creating more chances. Um, and I think maybe the big difference is maybe not more chances. The big difference is we're taking our chances. Yeah. And when you're down and things aren't going your way, the ricochets don't fall for you. You hit the post. The goalkeeper saves things. Yeah. But you know, but, but at the moment, um, you know, we're in a rich vein of form and the goal scoring thing, and we may continue. And this week, uh, preparation for the big game against Portsmouth has been no midweek first team game. No. Has it been good this week to work yeah. with the players on what you want to get them to do? Yeah, I've enjoyed this week. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it, I mean, the, the midweek games are great and the week goes flying through, but sometimes you don't get what you need, you don't, you don't get the time to put in what you want to, to do. So uh, we've gone through some stuff on uh, today, uh, quite, a few, quite a bit of how we're going to go about it and, and what they do. and try and nullify their threat and uh, it's more important than how, how we play and if we can keep their performances up at the level they're at the moment. Obviously there was a, a midweek game for the development side and Anthony yeah. Hartigan was really impressive by all accounts. How much is he pushing for placing well, the team? if you'd been out there today you probably didn't want to come out because it was raining so I understand that as you can see. Um, but the, the, we, had a, we had a practice match uh, and you know you got the, obviously the team that we're looking maybe to start against the, the, mm. the not... The not uh, I call them the reserves, but the lads, yeah. and they were terrific. It, it, both teams were terrific. The way they passed the ball about, and there was some bright play out there. So, a lot of players in a lot in good places, and have no qualms. And if if needed, you know they can all come and add to and add to the mix. And uh, the way the way things are going at the moment, I'm sure they're itching to get involved. Portsmouth on Saturday, they're not too far away from us in terms of points tally. Obviously, they played a few less games. Yeah. Are you surprised the position they're in, bearing in mind they were playoff contenders yeah. last season? Yeah, I mean, and it won't be there for, for it won't be there for long. I don't think you know the experienced uh, manager Kenny uh, Kenny Jacket and the players they got, and uh, um, you know they've 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 invested. They bought players in the summer, um, and while it's taken probably a while to bed them down, you know we've got a chance of uh, of um, making the most of it this weekend until they do kick on. They'll certainly bring big support, uh, but our fans, I'm sure, will will respond. Yeah. Are these the type of games you really relish? Yeah, I mean, Portsmouth always was a good game. You know, mm. I, uh, always always enjoy playing against Portsmouth, Portsmouth and the fans. Probably back in the day, remember that. So this is adds to the mix. You know, we're uh, we like I say we're going in on good form, and I'm sure that the fans will uh, look forward to and get behind the team, and uh, it'll be an enjoyable day. Plenty of deserved praise for Marcus Force after last weekend. Um, how fortunate are we to have him, and also how does this transfer come about? Uh, well, I mean, we've got we've you know we're in the mix. We've we've got a database of players, and you know, we've got the recruitment on side, so we know we know where they are, we know where the players are, and, and some you get, some you don't. And we were lucky with a couple last year. Obviously, Rambo and Seddon were terrific for us, but they changed the season, and now uh, Marcus is 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 banging the goals in. So. Uh, you know, we we we've uh, we're trying to get tight with Brentford to to try and get their good young players, and but there's more out there. I think January there'll be there'll be opportunities now whether we need to strengthen. But we 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 know where they are. It's just a can you get them? B do they want to come? And C is it work? Is it all work? And uh, and luckily you know luckily we've had uh, since I've been here some some great ones who who have loved the place and really gone on to to bigger and better things. And although his strike partner hasn't been scoring, Joe Piggott, have you been pleased with the dynamic yeah, no, between those Joe, two? I mean, Joe scored the penalty against Ryan. He was unlucky the weekend. I thought yeah. he was terrific. His work rate, and he, he's looking sharp out, like out there again. So it's only a matter of time before he starts scoring, I'm sure. Team news-wise, uh, first of all, Will Nightingale, what's the latest for him? Well, he went out today uh, hoping to be in contention, but he's, he's had to come in, so I'm just waiting to hear exactly you know what, what that is and, and how long that will be. Uh, we also had uh, Terrell out there. He missed training today, but has done a physical, a physical workout just to save save him a little knock he's got. So I'm hoping that he'll he'll be okay for Saturday. Um, and the rest, obviously, Michael Felivi and Rod there on the grass now. Uh, especially Rod's on the grass working hard at getting back. So he's 
he'll be his return will be will be soon. Just remind me what the problem with Will is it just a niggling thing, is it? Yeah, it's a niggling thing, I'm not sure it's a hip thing. It's okay. a hip thing that uh, that, he, that he's got and uh, right. um, you know, we just see what, we just see how long it takes to settle down and what the position is. I mean, you know, we need to find out. But good to see Rod back out there. Yeah, good to see Rod, yeah. Again, again I think if you when you're on when you're on you know a run like this and the lads are enjoying their football and they see the you know the fans getting behind, it's a good place to be. So mm-hmm. you're itching to get back, you know, once you're injured and you see the performances, it's it's uh, it's a great carrot for him to to return. And uh, you know he's he's out there working hard. Hopefully, you know, as like I say, it won't be long. What about uh, Michael Felivi, Adam Rosco? Where is that? Yeah, well, Adam, Adam, Adam's, Adam's a bit slow. But he's not yeah. he's not responding as as we wanted to. So uh, again, that's uh, that's quite a complicated one. Um, but I'm sure in our time, you know, he's in the right hands, he's in good hands, so it'll be, it'll be well for him. Michael has had a bad back and a, and a stomach strain, but it's good to see him out there. Now, if he's not ready for this weekend, then hopefully, you know, it's, it's for next weekend. So it's not a long term thing, it's just making sure he's, you know, he's strengthening and he's ready to go when he gets rid of all the pain. Just finally, how, how is Luke O'Neill getting on with his recuperation? Well, he, he's, well, he's another one, he should be out on the grass soon as well, so he's, I think he's, he's over the worst of his. So okay. it's a matter of now him, him working back now how long that takes. Yeah. Fingers crossed he does you know, fingers crossed that it all goes well and he's yeah. uh, you know, hopefully there's the the, the more the merry and we've got a, a big strong squad that uh, are chomping on a bit. Okay, Glenn. Good luck on Saturday, thanks for joining us. Thank you, cheers, thank you.